Hi, in this video I wanted to show you how to create a mass emailing using Microsoft Word's Mail Merge tools. Now I have here on my desktop an email. Uh, it's pretty standard. It has a salutation and it has information in it that is unique to the individual recipient that I'm sending this email to. Now I sent out hundreds of these emails two or three times a year and I used to do each one one at a time using a spreadsheet but then I learned how to use the mail merge tools and they really make the process of doing this so much faster and easier so I think it's worth creating a video and learning how to use these tools It'll save you so much time. All right, well, as you can probably imagine, the process starts with creating a spreadsheet. Um, now, you what you would need to do is you have all of these columns here, and each column uh, has a cell that has unique information from pulled from the email set into these cells. So uh, the first column of your spreadsheet for a, a mass emailing, the A column, needs to be the email for the individual that you're going to be sending these letters out to. So reserve that column for emails. And then the next one can be the salutation, um, the professional title, the name, and then start to you know include the little bits of information that are unique to each of the individual emails you're sending out. And another tip that I have for you, and which makes sense, is to put all of these different fields of information or cells of information in the order in which they're going to be read in the email or placed in the email. It will just make this process a lot easier and a lot more accurate um, as you go into the Word document and start using those tools in there. Now the final tip about the spread creation of this spreadsheet is you have to have the spreadsheet in the table format. Okay, and mine is already in a table format, and I know that because at the top of my cells I have these drop down menus. And if you don't know how to create a table from your spreadsheet, it's really easy. Just put your cursor in a cell like this, and you go up to your home ribbon, and on the insert tab, you're going to have a button here that says table. It looks like a table. Mine is grayed out right now because I uh, this is already a table, so um, it's grayed out for me, but yours will be, you know completely solid so click on it and it will highlight all of the columns in your table if it's highlighting all of them that you want in the letters just say yes okay and then there will be another question a pop-up question that asks you does your table have header rows select yes okay and then it'll say okay and then you close your table now the next part of this is moving on to the um, Word a Word document just open a Word file and um, let's see if I have one open here. This is already at the stage of emailing. Copy all of the, um, copy the email, the body of the email and create a new Microsoft Word document and paste the body of that email in there. There you go. Okay, so now we're on. Now we're on track. Um, paste the body of your email into the Microsoft Word document. Okay, and I've already done that here, and I have taken out specific information uh, unique to that first email that I showed you that was on my desktop, and I've left spaces blank that I need to fill in, and I'm going to be filling that those blank fields in with the information in these individual cells. Okay, but I'm just going to do it once for the first time and then the mail merge tools will do all the rest for me. All right, so the first thing you want to do is go up to your home ribbon here and select this tab that says mailings and you're going to start your mail merge. So select this button here, start mail merge and there's a drop down menu, select email messages. And that's how you get into this uh, email format for your Word document. Now the next thing you need to do is you need to tell Microsoft where your emails are going to, right, and where the information is that it needs to pull from. So the next step is select recipients. So 
click this drop down menu here and you're going to use an existing list and that will be the spreadsheet that you just created. So go out into your uh, computer and find that folder where you've saved your spreadsheet, click on it and select open. And now it's telling me that it's found the table and it's identified the sheet and that's all correct. And you really want to make sure that this little uh, button right here is ticked. So it has a check mark in it. It says first row of data contains the column headers. That's how these tools know where to send these emails and where to uh, find information in these various fields, like to organize it in your document. It has to have those first that first row of column headers to know that information by. So make sure it's ticked and select OK. All right, now you're ready to roll. So you have your cursor up here at the beginning of your email and you can see that I don't have any salutation information up here. So like the dear professor so-and-so. So what you would do at this point is you go up to this button that says insert merge field and drop that down and go past this one that says email. Remember those are where you're going to be emailing these things to. It'll ask you about that one later, but right now you're just going to put the salutation and use your spacebar, create a space, go back up. The next one is professor, use a space, go back up to your insert merge field, um, name, insert a space. And you get the idea is you just put your cursor where the uh, in, bit of information that you want to include would normally go, use a space after it, and just to fill it in and you know in this sort of way and I'm not going to do the whole thing because it will take too much time but you get the idea and um, so you will go all through this process until you get your entire you know email completed now of course you want to check your email before you send it out and uh, especially in a mass emailing so how you can preview your results is using this button right here preview results click that and it will show you, you know, the final version of your email and you can read through it and make sure all of the information has been included in here and that it's all correct. If you do find an error, it's, it's easy to fix. Just go click that preview results back again and, you know, take out the wrong field, whatever it was you put in there by mistake and go back up into your insert mail uh, merge field again and select the correct one and just that's it okay so you made one mistake just fix it and go up to this ABC preview results again and you can see that it's fixed and so once you have everything like completely um, formatted correctly and there's no mistakes in it and you have all of the information included and you're getting ready to email out now you're going to get to the part where it asks you about you know where to email these two so the next step is to go to finish and merge and select that button and from that drop down you're going to uh, select send email messages now don't worry they're not all going out yet but it's going to give you another pop-up window here and this is where it's asking you about that column A with the email right so it's saying two and there's all these different fields in here now you want to select email because that's the address okay and it's it knows to pull from uh, that that particular column in that uh, cell number now put your subject line is um, I'm just gonna say a file has been created for your course you know whatever um, use the subject line that the same subject line when you're sending out a mass mailing like this if you send that mailing out a few times a year um, it's a really good tip to uh, for you to, is to keep the subject line the same each time you send out that email that way your recipient knows when they see that subject line what is in that email and the type of information it's going to contain and they may be looking for that you know specific email and they'll know oh okay this is the email I always get you know once a quarter once a semester whatever this is the email I need and they'll save it and they'll open it and read it hopefully <laughs> okay so once you have that all uh, correct and everything you're going to select um, all or just this one email or um, you can do by the number the cell number so say you only want to send out to the math teachers that year and they're in row 9 through 18 you can put the numbers in there that way okay but in this case let's just send them all <laughs> okay there they go all right now let's uh, 
check to make sure that they went out. I'll show you that they did. Um, you can see the uh, the names of those two professors in that particular email is right here and it's been sent out. Okay, and so this process is that easy. Um, I hope that you found this information to be helpful to you. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and we'll see you next time.